Hi, Lorraine Smith from Tourmaline Time Quilts. We're gonna learn today how to make flying geese four at a time from three different colors. In this case, what we start with here is our background color. This is going to be our geese. Um, then we're gonna start out here with two others, um, which will each be on either side. These are considered the air. And let me get showing you here how we started. We started by drawing, um, it's kind of difficult to see here, but a diagonal line across each of the smaller squares. Uh, because this was a dark fabric, uh, I happened to use a light pencil. Um, it won't matter what you use as long as you can see it because we're gonna cut that part away. So let's get started here. I'm going to lay these together. Corners and corners. And when I get them right, so that the corners line up, as you can see here, there is the center and our line will meet in the center. Now we're going to draw, we're going to sew a quarter inch seam on either side of the line. I have marked here on my um, sewing table a little bit of a guide so that I don't uh, get this too far off balance. going to do now um, to make our first here is we're going to cut down the center. Okay, so we're going to cut on that line that we drew like so. Also help sometimes if you can line up your quarter inch seam here on your one of the lines of your rotary or your uh, ruler. We're gonna cut it up through here. Excellent. These each make four, so we're gonna set that one aside for the moment. What we'll do now is press this open, and you'll note. It looks a little bit, okay. I refer to this as the heart because uh, it's kind of got the two mountains peaks here going. Okay, the next step will be to take this piece, our darker piece, and we're going to set it in the center here. Again, lining up from the point to between the two halves of the heart here, the two points of the heart, and then we're going to sew that again, on either side of that drawn line. Go this way to make it easier. Okay, just like we did the last time, we're going to take this and cut it on that drawn line. And 
when we get done, we have we happen to have two of the four flying geese that we need. You note that they do have these in the opposite corners, um, which for the pattern we're looking at, they do need it this way. Um, to finish the last one here, what we would do is again, take our heart. We're gonna, again, press this up. Set our square so that the line goes between. into view here. I'm going to cut down the center here. And again, we have press these open. And from those squares, we have made or flying geese. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll just trim them up to remove some of the tails and make sure that they're all the same uh, size here. When you do trim these, make sure that you're aligned here in the center. Okay, and you can trim so that you trim equally from each side. Um, and you always wanna leave this piece in half. If you have to trim, you wanna trim from the bottom not necessarily from the top because then when you sew it to something else, you'll cut off this peak. So always trim from the bottom and equally from the sides to make sure that your point stays in the center. Thanks for joining us. Good luck with your flying geese, four at a time, three different colors.